My name is Linda Kirstein. I'm a Natural Environmental Research Fellow at the University of Edinburgh. Basically, I do research in geological sciences, um, focusing on research in Taiwan, looking at how mountains build and what the sediments that are preserved in the geological record can tell us about that process. My dad worked for the telecommunications sector in Ireland and my mum was a stay-at-home mum because I have four siblings. I have three sisters and a brother. And um, they were keen that we all went to university. That was all they sort of insisted upon. Um, and thereafter, it was up to us pretty much. In fact, my dad wanted me to go into computing at one point. So there you go. It didn't happen. So I went to an all-girls school in Cork run by some nuns. I graduated uh, from school um, but having done seven subjects because I did it in the Irish system. And in that seven subjects, I had done biology and physics as well as maths. And when I began choosing university courses, I kind of decided that science would probably be the better option for me to start with because I wasn't 100% convinced I'd be the best medical student ever. At the time, it was very obvious that I would go to the local university in Cork, so University College Cork, it's part of the National University of Ireland system. So I did a four-year degree in Ireland, and as the years went on, you basically had to choose what you were going to specialise in. And by possibly a process of elimination in terms of subject choice, geology just stuck out as the thing that I would do. Well, in my final year, I had a really great lecturer, and she um, was convinced that I should do postgraduate research. I applied both to uh, Trinity College Dublin and the Open University in Milton Keynes, um, partly on the basis of the projects they an an offer. I wanted to do something that would allow me to travel, and basically those two universities at the time had some really good projects that I was interested in doing. So as I was writing up, I went to a conference and I met um, a woman from Leeds, and she had just got funding from the European Union for a big project that involved 10 different universities across Europe, all investigating um, a time period about 300 million years ago. So quite similar to what I'd done for my PhD, different location, different set of conditions. And there was a project available in uh, the Free University in Amsterdam, which she suggested I should perhaps apply to. And I did. Research is one of those things. It's got its really high moments where you're succeeding and you're feeling like you're answering fundamental questions and everything's coming together. And then it's got its really low points where everything you thought you understood, or in terms of a project anyway, has to be thrown out the window based on your latest batch of results. From Amsterdam, I got funding to be a research fellow at Edinburgh from the Marie Curie um, Science Foundation, which is part, again, funded by the European Union. And when I came to Edinburgh, it was based on a project that I had written. Um, it was based on an idea that I had that I would like to use a set of techniques to look at rocks in um, northern India, in Ladakh, the Ladakh province, so just outside the Himalayas. And since then, I've had funding from the Royal Society of Edinburgh and now from the Natural Environmental Research Council, looking essentially at what we call active plate margins, so places that subduction has happened in the past and that mountain building has been a recent phenomenon. I like being outside. I like doing my field research. I like a job where I'm not just sitting at a computer. I can actually use the computer, but I can also go into the lab and collect some isotopic data or some geochemical data. And I can also go out in the field and actually choose which rocks I'm going to look at. We're probably worse paid than uh, most people would imagine, but I wouldn't say it should be a negative for not taking up the career. I think there's lots of benefits in the flexibility that we get. So, and lots of people take geology, go into industry and can make lots of money.